Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth. So welcome back to my channel. I hope that you love what you're seeing so far. I am so happy to be part of, you know, of this new this new African vibe that I'm feeling right now from young people in Africa, young YouTubers. And so I I am so happy today to present to you a new reaction video from African Tigress. She is such a vibe. I love her so much. And so it's the cleanest city in Africa is in Kenya. It's a question. So this is Kisumu City. Kisumu. So I am so happy to be able to react to this one. And to be honest with you guys, I've never been to Kisumu and I would love to go to Kisumu. And so let's see if this video will give me more, you know, motivation to go and visit this beautiful city called Kisumu City. So let's get straight into this video. <laughs> Are you telling me you have tanks in town? So this is post uh, coronavirus, right? <laughs> you actually have tanks in town where you can clean your hands. And this street looks so clean right now. Wow, I love it. Jumbo, good people. Welcome to the mm. cleanest city in Kenya and probably what is going to be the cleanest city in Africa as the years progress? Mm. Well, the beautiful... Okay, area. so are you telling me that Afri that Kisumu is potentially going to be the cleanest city in Africa as a whole? My goodness, it is, it's that nice, uh, that clean in Kisumu? The side city of Kisumu has transformed immensely over the past three years. Let me show you around. So just a quick question. Is African uh African Tigress from Kisumu? Is she from Kisumu as well? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So make sure you also follow me on my social media handles. So so on, on Facebook it's Connie Kenneth, on Instagram it's Connie W Kenneth, but you have you know the links in the description below. Let's go. Yeah, make sure you subscribe too. Make sure you subscribe. Growing up in Kisumu, I must say that I'm very impressed with the transformation that mm. is taking place. Oh, she said growing up in Kisumu. So she is from Kisumu. Okay. This city. This is the governor of Kisumu. Professor right. That is Professor Anya Nyongo. So he's... Uh, you know Lupita's dad, so so he's the one who's doing all the tremendous work right now in Kisumu. Hmm. Good job, sir. Professor Anyang Nyongo, for those of us who know the famous Hollywood actress mm -hmm. Lupita Nyongo, this is his father. Away from. <laughs> and just a side note, I know there are so many Lupitas right now. You know, uh, in in Kisumu, just as much as there are so many Obamas in Kisumu right now. You know, just as much there are so many airy commodities in Kenya right now, just as much as, oh my goodness, uh, there are so many prominent people who actually come from Kisumu City and Kisumu has uh, so many uh, intelligent people right there. And I remember as a child, we used to, you know, there were, because I know in my class, for example, the, the, the most intelligent students were from Kisumu. And and people used to want to like them. And then there's this thing, and if it's a myth or not, but it was you have to eat a lot of fish. So, you know, if you come from Kisumu, it's a lakeside. Uh, they eat tons and tons of fish. So apparently it's a secret to um, being intelligent. And, you know, so Kisumu has so many prominent people and the girls and the vibe and the beauty and the way they just the drip, the, the way they dress. And most women actually in Kisumu have short hair, natural sisters, short hair, just like Lupita. And it, it's a whole vibe. So how come I've never been to Kisumu? That about a few years back, Kisumu was the dirtiest city in Kenya. Mm -hmm. But look at the transformation. Mm -hmm. It's really good to see that we now have the cycling land which never existed before. Look at this, and it's all paved, all clean, all 
organized. And the fact that this place used to have a lot of hawkers selling stuff here and there. Yeah, and you can even see the, you know, the, the, the bike, you know, signs and everything, the, the, the tiles on the floor look so nice. And they're tiles or stones with the colors are well chosen, the green. Wow, what? The transformation that can happen and also that they have created a new market for all those people who are relocated from this place. Very soon they're going to have a market where they're going to be selling their wares. All right, so if I understand, I must have missed something. So if I understand this place was full of hawkers and so they were relocated or they have, you know, they're actually going to be relocated to a different place and uh, just for, you know, so they can sell their stuff. All right, good job. Hi there, can you guess where I am? I'm just seated in one of the main streets of Kisumu City. A few years ago. Wow, what? Look at that. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, this is Kisumu for real? Wow, I am so amazed right now. This is just beautiful. Hi there. Can you guess where I am? I'm just seated in one of the main streets of Kisumu City. A few years ago, you couldn't get this privilege of sitting and just enjoying the sun or relaxing on this street. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, this street was full of people, full of hawkers. And look what we have right now. means to appreciate how clean and green this city has become. Mm. The trees you see by my side, they were not existing there previously. No wonder this city is set to host the Afri cities in 2021. Mm. Afri cities. Okay, so they have put in the, the, you know, the work and, and so they're also going to host events in Kisumu city. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's such a vibe. You know, look at, oh my goodness, the, I'm so impressed right now. Cities is a summit of African cities that mm. happens every three years. Okay. The last one was held in Morocco yeah. in 2018. And the next one, which is 2021, is going to be held in this very city in Kenya. Mm. So more than 10,000 people are expected from different parts or different cities of all the 54 nations of the continent. Yo, guys, the, her videos are on another level. African Tigress, if you watch this video, your videos, the quality, the storytelling, the, they're just on another level. And Oh my goodness. Wow. I love, I just love just the way, you know, everything is just, you know, just flows and makes sense. And, you know, I love it. So behind me is the former Jomo Kenyatta sports ground, okay. which I'm being told is going to be. Oh yeah, guys. You know, when you talk about Kisumu, you know, for a fact that they love football. <laughs> I guess Kenya is, you know, I talked about, of course, Professor, I talked about, you know, Eric Mondi, I talked about Lupita, Obama, but you also have the, the footballers, um, you know, from Kisumu. And Kisumu guys are passionate about, you know, the Gor Mahia, you know, football club. And so, yeah, okay, so they're going to, they're doing some renovation around the grounds named as Jaramogi Sports Ground or something mm -hmm. like that and it has actually been closed for renovation mm -hmm. and I can't wait to see what it becomes I know it's gonna be amazing mm -hmm. well so right now I'm crossing to Oile Park. This <laughs> you know, there is a zebra crossing, but nobody stops, okay? You, you just you just 
try your luck and just cross. Look at just look at that. Did you see that? She was she was already engaged and you know, but nobody stopped to just just to because as ever crossing the aim is you know for the cars for the bikes to just stop and let the the pedestrians cross but they didn't so just look at that again look well so right now i'm crossing <laughs> to oile park <laughs> it's not safe out there what <laughs> but this is everywhere in africa like in most places it's it's the same vibe this place was previously a very huge market which was not pleasing to the eye and so let's check it around and see what happens <laughs> As you can see, what used to be a very dirty market has now become a place where people can come, sit down under the beautiful trees, the cool shed, away from the scorching sun of this city, yeah. to have meetings and carry out, you know, conversations, relax, and charmer meetings, and whatever they want to do to relax on this park. different forms of transport and I guess this is everywhere around Kenya you have the you have the tuk-tuks you have the motorbikes you know you have the matatus you have the buses so we've actually seen most of them in this video and oh wow uh, but in Nairobi I don't think we have tuk-tuks not not in the city center in the CBD but I guess probably in some you know outskirts of Nairobi but yeah <laughs> I'm so impressed right now, really. Well, I just love how the roads have been expanded in this area, including the roundabout mm -hmm. that you can see behind me. This is at the Patel stage. I don't know why this stage is called Patel, but because maybe there's an estate close by called Patel. Mm -hmm. but or maybe named after a Patel, because I think Patel is Indian, probably named after an Indian... Uh, you know, person, prominent person in Kisumu. Let me know in the comments below if you know. This roundabout didn't exist two, three years ago, and there used to be a lot of traffic, but as you can see right now, the road has been expanded. A lot of vehicles can actually move without necessarily causing any traffic jam. Okay. Yeah, but I guess I would like to say during the rush hour because probably this is, you know, early afternoon, so it's a little bit calm. But during the rush hour, especially if you don't have the lights and if the lights are very respected. But um, yeah, it's a um, good job, really good, good job. So basically, this is what now the Kisumu Kakamega Highway looks like. Okay. Susanna. Yeah, just um, I was just wondering uh, for the highway. It looks yes, it has been expanded, but is it like a one way? I mean, I guess it's a new highway because they still have to mark it because it's too large, so cars can go, you know. So you can just I don't know. Let me know in the comments below um, if since that since the time the video was um, you know was uh, shot. Um, if they have put, you know, what do you call them? They've marked the roads, you know, just to separate the different lanes. Let me know in the comments below. Okay. We are here at the Susanna Oweo Art Center uh -huh. in the view. Right. Susan Oweo is a Kenyan singer and she is the bondest woman. Um, I love her music and she's another prominent person from Kisumu. Ish! <laughs> Kisumu, oh my goodness, has so many, um, you know, um, people from all aspects, politics, uh, you know, the, the, what do you call the, the entertainment industry, you know, and stuff like that. So, and because Kikuyu, uh, what do you call them? Ki the guys from Kisumu, 
are very uh, proud of you know of their people when they name um, you know they name the streets, the the places, the buildings you know after the prominent people from Kisumu. Here are so breathtaking. You can have a view of the airport, mm -hmm. the lake, and the city. I just want to buy land here. <laughs> That is so beautiful, really. What? And is that a lake that we're seeing right now in the background? Is that the, you know? Okay, let me know in the comments below. It looks like the, the lake, um, you know, in, in Kisumu. <clears throat> Secretary also commended the residents of Kisumu City for trying to maintain high sanitation standards when mm -hmm. he visited Kisumu. This is really smart. We are really impressed. It's fantastic. The city is clean. Kisumu City is clean. There is no doubt about it. We are particularly impressed because the Kisumu residents have taken it upon themselves individually wow. to keep this place clean. Guys, and that's a very nice chosen word, individually, because it has to come from each and every one of us. You know, if all of us make the effort of changing something, um, you know, in our family, in our society, at work, it has to be every single person, you know, individually. And so that's a very important word because that's exactly how it has to begin with us. And that's why for all these YouTubers and African youth, and African people who are also, you know, going out of their ways to showcase Africa in a different way, then that is their way of doing it individually. And I really appreciate it. I guess it's it's just a fantastic thing uh, for, you know, for Africa as a whole. Experts working on uplifting the face of Kisumu City mm -hmm. are modeling it after Kigali, Rwanda. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I guess that the Rwandan model has really, really inspired so many African countries. So if you're from Rwanda and you know any Rwandese um, YouTuber that you would like me to react to, feel free. Let me know because I have no idea, um, you know, of of any Rwandese uh, YouTube channel that is doing great job educating, you know, the Rwandese, um, you know, people about their country. So the Rwandese model is just so inspirational. And yeah, so okay. Ya Ogingo Dinga Street to Taweka are shock trees, na palm trees. Ikiwe kama Kigali Rwanda. Kisumu is the third largest city in Kenya after Nairobi and Mombasa. Mm -hmm. This park that you see right here used to be part of six acres of the largest and main dam site of Kisumu. What? And look at it right now, it's full of greens and they've planted a dam site that has now been transformed into a you know green place good job that was decommissioned what the dam site was so bad that you'd never want to pass or drive next to this place it was an iso and the order that used to come from that place was oh, okay so it's a botanical garden where was that was it here it was an iso and the order that used to come. wow okay so again it's the works of uh, Honorable Professor Nyongo, so good job. And so now it's a botanical garden. Oh, wow, love it. Down from that place was just so bad. Wow, okay, okay, wow. So it has really come a long way, and so it's a lot of good work that has been done in Kisumu. And so, 100%, I have to go and visit Kisumu. 100%. And next to the dam site, was this small mega city mm -hmm. a very big hotel the vic hotel 
and Polyview Estate and is a school on the opposite side of the road. Mm. So if this could transform to this, well, I believe anything is really possible. Right. Yo, this is Kisumu, guys. How come my, you know, my friends from Kisumu never told me? How come? I'm telling you, visit and see. Visit and see it for yourselves, you know, with your own eyes and just be curious enough to go visit. So right now, I must, it's official, I am coming to Kisumu. So if you are in Kisumu and then you would like me, you know, to come visit you or you can, you want to take me around, just leave a comment. Leave a comment. I have to come and then I will, you know, I will hit you up when I come. According to the United Nations UN Habitat, Kisumu is now recognized as a millennium city, the first of its kind in the world and in East Africa. I cannot say that Kisumu is perfect, but for sure they are taking steps in the right direction. In the next episode from Kisumu, I'm going to give you a tour of Kisumu, probably 20 minutes or more, including some neighborhoods within this city. Thank you so much for watching this. I would like to know what you thought about this episode. Don't forget to hit the like button, please, mm. and subscribe, in case you're not subscribed. Mm. And until next wow. time, Kwaheri! Oh, wow. Just to answer your question, African Tigers, I loved this episode of Kisumu. And I love the storyline. Everything makes sense. Everything is well um, you know, well aligned and yes, um, I loved it myself and I hope you loved my reaction as well. And so if you want more videos from African Tigers, let me know in the comment section below and which one in particular. And I'll be so happy to, you know, to react to another video. So guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.